Where's that? Wait, haven't we been here before? I think we've been here before. Time to go get my primer gems. Although I suppose I should probably collect the initial batch first. Excuse me, sir. Catherine. Add Astra. Lawn. Thank you for comp. Thank you very much. I will take that to enjoy it and call it my own. I'm cooking all the wrong things here. I'm just like wildly cooking. Anywho, back over yonder way. Didn't really need the frogs, but thanks. Take care of the nearby miasma. Check the clues nearby. Please, everyone, do enter. Eh, it's Fujin? Wait, is this your, uh, what's that called again? Your abode? Hmm? Well, I suppose you could consider this a place that Herb Lord and I made. Either way, I hope the soup, sacred simulacra, something, something, something. You mean this cup? Ooh, okay. That's a thing that happens, apparently. Tizong wall. <laughs> All right. We're here, Fujin Jaja. Have you been waiting for us here all this time? He he. No, no. After leaving Carp's rest, I can only appear in places in which my power remains, and only by the grace of your adeptal energy, Lunara. Wait a minute. Didn't the gap in the middle of that mural originally have something that went with the golden carp mural in it? I'm not sure. In truth, this is my first time seeing this mural as well. Huh? I'm sure you've all heard all of the battles that took place in the past. Khanria, the Arkham War. Yes, this cave was one of the shelters we built for the inhabitants of Tongue Vale, so that the innocents caught in the crossfire with the floods overturned the heavens and the earth split open could have a place of safety. I don't know that hiding in a tunnel when there is uh, floods happening is the best idea, but you do you. I didn't expect that they'd draw a mural here, though. I believe the ones depicted to be me, <clears throat> I mean, the big slippery carp, Shamal mentioned, and a friend. Huh. If that's the case, why did the most important part get taken somewhere else? That's true. Why is that? Perhaps dissatisfaction. The three of us were once great friends. With two of us becoming worshipped as Adepti, and one of us was always the mountain's master. Later, Herbert and I defected together, and she most likely died too. Or perhaps the one amongst us who fought to the last never submitted, and only heard news of us afterward. Perhaps to her, we were all traitors, with the depictions of myself and her blood becoming an object for her to vent with fury against. Huh, is that really the case? The painting outside looks like... Who knows? In any case, that's all in the past. So please, allow me your strength in nursing turn your vow back to health. I can feel that there's another golden carp lingering where I used to. Near Mount Xuanlian, I believe. Oh, so there's another. If we get that one, I should have enough strength to perform the ritual. Speaking of that, I must apologize for being unable to control the golden carp even with you nearby. I know they might have given you some trouble, swimming through the air like that. It's fine. I just think of them like sealies. This is true. <laughs> I do. But really, where is the golden carp that should be here? He, he. Well, inside the painting. Just use your gentle energy to awaken it, the traveler. Okay. A gentle energy check. Come here, you. I don't know where you're going, so I kind of just have to land. Uh, okay, go to the mountaintop pavilion. Oh, 
Oh, here again. Yeah, okay. Been here. Done this. There's not much I could do here. I guess this was for the story. My apologies for the poor hospitality. It has been a long time since I last enjoyed tea with others. Hopefully my break's good. I've got deteriorated too much over time. Wonder... <clears throat> I mean, I have some experience in appreciating tea. It was also thanks to this that I was able to tell that this year's tea offering smelled off. That was how I discovered the trouble with the soil and water quality. Huh. Didn't think the offering rights would be so useful. He he. I suppose now I can tell those who fail to appreciate the value of tea about its value with confidence. Come then, Nora. Have some tea. I don't drink tea. Is this your teapot food, Jin? Not sure why, but it reminds me of Madame Ping's. Yeah, there was that time in Liyue Harbour when we fixed Madame Ping's teapot for her. He he. If you think about it, we seem to have quite a connection with tea. Madame Ping? Oh, I think I know of whom you speak. We were acquainted back in the day, along with her friends. As Shema said, I was once just a giant carp, unable to leave fresh water for too long, nor live in salty waters. As such, they sent me one of these teapots. That was how my friends would have been able to take me, inside my teapot of course, to Gwili Plains in Liyue Harbour to meet those lovely people they spoke of. Unfortunately, such a time never quite came. Lenara, Paimon, you've been to Liyue Harbour. Could you tell me more about the city? I like to hear about it too. I've never been. Well, Paimon would like to start from one min restaurant. How about I handle the explanations this time? Sure, but don't you dare skip over any of the eating gits. It is a port city built nestled against the mountains. Against? Isn't something nestled in? What? You begin. I forbid to interrupt you. She knows that she'd like to hear your story. You understand and begin again. When we arrived in Liyue Harbour, Paimon and I were just in time for the ride of dissension. The child's an adeptus before you listen to your words, and Paimon's incessant injections. Then, do we actually tell him about the real Vex Lapis? Surely we don't. Leaning forward as you speak, exclaiming in shock and relaxing as the tension in the tale rises and falls. They also add their own commentary and questions about Liyue, such as the food and flavours available at restaurants, the toilets the old lady sells, the gems and jewellery of Feiyun's slope, and such. As you watch Fujin, Xiaomao, and Paimon be so moved by the tale, along this journey, we met many friends and experienced so many things. It was all worth it. I can only hope that in the end it will all be worth it. Wow, a sea monster, huh? Amazing! Liwa Harbour is not what I imagined. Did you find it disappointing? Well, no, just different. Being different doesn't make it bad. I like the Liwa Harbour you described. It's good to hear that after all this time, our dear Herblorb was able to find a home there. I think that's simply wonderful. What about you, Shama? Could you tell us about you and your friend? I'm curious to know what she's like. I'm not. Can we get on with the story? You're bogging me down with useless crap I don't care about. Uh, sure. I mean, Pamela and Lenore have met it already, so it wouldn't be fair if I didn't tell you. So, this is how we met. At that time, I was still a little kid who didn't know anything about the mountains. It was night time, and some wild beasts were following me through the forest. It was super scary. Finally, I was chased to a clearing and surrounded by those beasties. For a moment, I was convinced I was going to get eaten, but suddenly, they all backed off into the woods, and then they were gone. Sorry, you know reading. Constantly like this makes me yawn a lot. When I look back, there she was, looking at me. She was like Jade, but there was also a dignity to her. I knew it then that she was the master of the mountain that my grandparents had told me about. I wasn't scared. I just told her. I finally found you. I've been looking for you for so long. I don't know why, but she lowered her head and thought before walking off. She made no, moise, made no noise as she did so. I listened as hard as I could, but there were no sounds of anything stepping on branches or fallen leaves. After that, I would sometimes catch sight of her, moving between the trees in a flash. Sometimes, the rising moonlight would outline her shadow as she stood atop a high mountain. At that time, I thought it was strange. Why hadn't I seen her before? She was always there, after all. I wanted to talk to her, but she would always turn and leave. It was only- why do we have so much text, by the way? This is awkward. It was only late and also irrelevant, later, that she became willing to talk to me. Much later on, she would take me to up very high mountains and into very deep forests. She asked me a lot of questions, and in exchange, she told me lots of stories. In the beginning, Chelling Village was a nameless barren mountain, and the rivers had a real temper. Sometimes they'd flood, and other times they would all wither. 
and on that barren mountain she made two friends, a fish and a snake. But later, the snake was cut into pieces and the fish sank into the sea, and then only Blue was left. Thank you, Shama. Also, um, don't tell anyone about my friend, all right? Who's she gonna tell? She doesn't know anybody. Of course you won't. You seem quite familiar with this friend of Shama's, Fujin. Indeed, but that was all in my past life. Is it a past life if you're still living that life? <laughs> I would just say it's in the past, period. Many, many years have passed since I could no longer move freely. I suspect that I might not have recognized her any longer. Though from Shama's words, she might not have changed too much. Past life? He, he. Perhaps that is not the most accurate way to phrase it. That's what I said. I did not utterly perish, but I did lose my original form, and my strength and wisdom dissipated along the spirit veins. This is also why I invited you on Lunara to Cup's rest. If we were not there, I would not even have a form to show you, or a voice with which to speak to you. It is thanks to you that I have been able to slowly regain my previous strength. Coming here, and once more seeing these scenes with my own eyes, meeting old friends from the past, and more importantly, making new friends. I am very glad. How did you die? My memories of that have grown foggy. The Herb Lord and I were both servants of another god, and it was I that organised the Range Aid Ride, administering the rites, rivers and mountains for our lord. As for the other, she was as she is, a beast, wild and free. On those peaceful days, I also climbed waterfalls to Mount Altyong and Mount Hula, and there I met with Adeptai, whose powers and wisdom far eclipsed mine. Of course, that was all before the war. Our lord was not a heinous being by any means. Once upon a time, she made many dreams come true. If there was any evil, it was the outcome war itself. What happened next needs no further explanation on my part, I'm sure. You talked about how you and her blood defected. He he, that's right. I don't understand why all the fucking he he's are here. She's not actually laughing as she speaks. There's no context here for laughter. So why is the text here? I want to find whichever mother trucker did the translations for this game and shove their head into a vat of concrete. Just why? Ah. <sighs> That might have been the bravest thing we've ever done. Our lord had all but gone mad, seeking the position of a god who may rule this world, or perhaps seeking survival. Either way, she lacked the power to overcome Morax. So, in a final desperate gamble, she caused the Bishwe River to flood, hoping to destroy everything downstream. Of course, she knew what that would mean for Tanya Val and its people. Sounds like an absolute sadistic motherfucker. Whoa. But uh, Paimon thinks that that's something you should never ever do, period. Yeah, I'm with Paimon on this one. Perhaps it's just what the war does to people. It's like, if you can't have them, sorry, if I can't have them, neither shall you. Kills everybody. Either way, that was our final adventure as a trio of friends. Ling Yuan attacked people with her familiars, herding them to the shelter we had prepared. Herb Lord fought against our mistress while I climbed Mount Ling Meng and hurled the votive range aid into the rising waters. Of course, that wasn't a proper rain jade ride. It was simply the release of the adeptal energies stored within the jade pendant to have the earth open its maw and swallow the rivers and allow the jade mouth to grow and stabilize the flow. Well, what happened next? He, he, didn't Shamar tell you how it all ended? Yeah. That's right. Wait, really? When? All right, that's enough about the past. We should get back to performing the ride itself. Yeah, good, because none of that helped. True, but what about the golden cup? Isn't that what we're looking for? In truth, you've already found it, as with the previous one. That's how I was able to appear before you. It's just that I am missing the scenery here a bit too much, so I couldn't help but have a long chat with you all. A useless chat. After all, your sense of time and mine are not the same. You won't tarry long once your objectives are complete, will you? As such, I apologise. Please forgive my capriciousness. I do not forgive you because that was really boring. And a lot of reading. Okay, carp hath been found. Bye. Can we follow him? Where does he go? Oh, no. He just disappears. Never mind. Go back and look for Fujin. Oh, back at the island. Okay, yep. I'm here. Though my power is still a far cry from how it was in the past. Thanks to your aid, I have regained my strength. Thank you. Next, we need to perform the ceremony. What effects will it have? It's been thousands of years since we last performed it, and the mountains, rivers, and spirit veins have all changed a great deal. But if all goes well, the vote of Range Aid will resolve the issue. 
I think there's music? It's so faint I can't tell. Well then, let's begin. Do we not get the rain, the, the jade back from the other place? I thought we did as part of the plot line. Fog's dissipating. Oh, wow. So that's the jade up there that she used to uh, pray to. Whoa, what's that? Huh, it's just like in the mural. Do you remember Paimon? The one with the two golden people and something in between them. Wow, you're really impressive, Shamal. Paimon didn't remember that at all. Yeah, it's because you have rocks of brains. It's literally the first thing I just said. Behold, the sacred mountain. In my era, to merely climb it was already to transgress, but the ancestral inhabitants of this place are gone, and the community path, communing path lies waste and broken. Lies waste and broken? English much? Who shall judge us now? This is where the spirit veins of Tony Val converge. Through it, I can transmit my medeptal energy through the veil, storing the water and soil. We are only one step off from achieving our goal. Are you prepared, Lunara? Let's do this. Indeed. Achievement. As if seen from afar, I sent to the heavens with the dreams of the past. We're really not getting any more Tony Val exploration. Light the map. Okie dokie. Because we just got the last region. I'm still missing three teleport waypoints in this area. A lot of chests. A lot of time trials. One ring for the right of all. Yeah, I'm getting there. Oh, actually, no, that's the maximum level. That's not happening. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yoink. Oh, a nighttime photo. Interesting. Okay. So, I guess it wants me to go through here, but where is it going to take me? Because there's so much to see and do before we get there. Tiwong Terrace. I'll indulge you. To here? Yes. Thank you very much. Climb the sacred mountain. Please, come with me. Accompany Fujin. You can stay there for a bit. Ha huh, Fujin? Wait, why'd you turn into a golden carp again? Oh, this form makes movement easier. Do you not like it, Paimon? Well, no, Paimon's just not used to talking to a fish. That's great. I'm going this way. Just think if I'm missing anything as I go along. I don't think so. I'm going to need you to come and land there, guys. Thank you very much. Don't be scared. Yeah. Oh god, now my blame's too high. I was trying to hear the music so I turned it up and now I'm just deafened. My word. Ooh, let me open it. Okay. Yoink. I assume we already had the edge of the land, right? So it's just this land I'm looking at? I think so. We'll do the bottom bits first, and then we'll ascend a little and do that space, and yeah. Okay, it's just up there. Can't see. Okay. Oh boy. How's this gonna work? 
Oh, I don't know that this is going to work. Run, run. Oh, it did. Yay. Nailed it. What do we have here? Falling treasure. Okay. Don't know if we're quite ready to go to the next tier yet. Let's do this last bit. Hey, goats. How you doing? It's a time trial down here. Anything around that rock? Negative. What's that? Oh, it's a simulacrum. Never mind. Defeat opponents. Okay. The night is cold. Strike a pose. The field is lit. Here comes the fireworks. Hi. My guiding stars. Stars. Oh, James. There we go. Let my name echo in song. Baba. What do we have here? Right. Go to this little island. And then we'll do the higher levels. Actually, that should be all I need, right? Yeah. It's shiny at night. That's pretty. So we did that. This one. This is where we're up to. Hi. Gonna miss you by a mile. Hey, I actually got you. It's a miracle. Don't be scared. Yoo-hoo! Time for a light show. Yes, please, come into my ice storm. I have yet to figure out what she actually says during that. I can't sit, tell if it sounds like a festive reprieve or a fist of something. I actually don't know what she says. Ooh, let me open it. Oh, okay. Anything on top of there? I think it's just the bird, but hard to tell. Hi, friend. Sir. Yeah, just the birds. Okay. No other chests or puzzles. <laughs> no. Well, she wants us to travel along this path, does she not? Not now. Cold. Mind to commit. Shower me with bread. Oh, I really was meant to follow her. Whoops. Okay, sir, I need to My kill you. Stars. Don't like, be scared. I assume I have to kill you. Let the world come alive! <laughs> Wait, hear me. Oh, only two. That was usually three. What do we have here? Okay, well I've done this bottom bit. Uh there's still that ridge that I haven't done here. <laughs> Should I check this ridge out? Come on, really? Now you just bring Curl. Not really too low for that. Yeah. There's a 
cup over there. Oh dear. Whew. Hmm? Start challenge. Raise the target location within a hundred and Oh god. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. This is a thing we do. Have the carp, go team. Remaining. Okay, god, that's a 10 seconds. Like, what? Oh, there's this whole on. this under section. Did you see there's a chest and shit down there? Okay, so we're gonna have to look for that. I think I was supposed to do is this with carp lady. Sorry, carp lady. Fujin. Let me go get this waypoint. <laughs> Wait, so that I might fast trouble you. Oh wait, the waypoint's down. Oh shit, I got ahead of myself. Oh, it's really down here. Okay, cool. It's not that bad. Do you want to peek? There's a carp here though. Is it in the tree? Where's the carp? It's in this tree? No. Not across this way either. Up, up and away. Cup, cup, cup. I'm on it, but I don't see it. Hey, Celestia. Huh? Is it down here? Oh, there it is. Well, since we're here, we might as well do the under part. Although, which way do you start? I guess out here would be the smarter way to start. This way. Oh, we can, yeah, we can just pick a direction, then we can fast travel back and then go that way. Doesn't appear to be much out here to explore. Chill. Very disappointing. I mean, I get that, that it doesn't have to be something in every space of the game, but this is a massive piece of land where there's just nothing. What the heck? Anyway. Trial. Should probably get my stamina back in case I require it. Open the chest in 30 seconds. That does not seem to be a problem. How is this a problem? That's really simple. You could fly oh, there manually and still achieve this goal. Ooh, where are you taking me? I didn't particularly want to go in this direction, but okay. Isn't this where I did the challenge from? I think so. Yeah, this is where the challenge was. Okay, well, sure. Spit me out. Okay. Oh, there's a trial right up top as well. Back down we go. This is where the trial was. Hello, bird. Surely there's something to be had in this, this section here. 
something to do. Ah, miasma. Okay, I get rid of miasma. 